I'm so excited for you to join us today. We welcome you to a new episode of Think About It. Today, our word is determination. Determination. So let's get a quick definition as we like to do. It's a firmness of purpose, a resoluteness, the process of establishing something exactly by calculation or research. It's a firm or fit intention, something that you are determined to do. You set out with a certain level of determination um, with the whole idea of completing the task, completing the process, completing the vow, completing uh, something that you've decided to do. Uh, being determined in your marriage, fighting through the trials and the trouble and the ups and the downs and the adjustments. So often we want to just rush to termination without determination. And, and the truth of the matter is, we need to be committed to complete. Now, do we fail as humans along the way? Yes, we do. We all do, myself included. But the truth of the matter is, we should be determined to complete the task that we start. You should be determined to finish school. You should be determined to finish a particular class. You should be determined to, to, to finish the journey. Everybody can quit. Everybody has the, the option to quit. How determined are you? Are you firm and fixed in your intentions or are you vacillating? Are, are, are you jumping from one side to another? Remember what the Bible says about a double-minded man can't be trusted. He's like a ship just going anywhere without a sail or any kind of direction. So where are you in your determination? Are you Determined to complete the journey, to complete the task. Um, it's interesting because I want you to look at Romans 12, um, 11 and 12. And it's two short verses, but listen to what it says. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope. Now that is not hope like winning a contest or a lottery. That's rejoice in our confident expectation. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. You know, you know what I've learned in my 36 years of pastoring? One of the reasons that we don't handle conflict well, we're always trying to avoid it. We're always praying to get out of it. Not Lord, what will I learn in this trial or this trouble? How will I grow? We want out. And, and, and we just want the Lord to lift, lift us up out of conflict. The problem with that is that you don't get good at conflict. You don't get good at handling it. Because you always, you want everything to go smoothly. You, you, you pray for no obstacles. That's where you grow. That's where you get stronger. That's where you learn how to cope. That's how you find out how strong you are. So we have to be determined even in our trouble. Look what he says, be patient in trouble. If you think that doesn't take determination, then you clearly don't understand what this word determination means. In your trials, in your ups and your downs, in the conflicts, in the things that shake your foundation, you must have a firm intent to get through it. I love that saying. Sometimes the only way out is through. You can't go around it, over it, under it. You gotta be determined and say to yourself, I'm gonna make it to the other side. Didn't know I was gonna have to deal with this conflict, but I've got to make it to the other side. Now, you can make it there in the power of God and trusting him, but you must have a determined spirit because you're gonna have to fight off yourself, the wiles of the devil and other people who might be negative about your journey. Determination will get you a lot of places that you didn't think you could get to simply because your intent is to complete your task 
through the power of God, but you must be determined. You must have the confident intent to get there. So Romans 12, 11 and 12, never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in confident hope or expectation and be patient in trouble and keep on praying and just stay determined. I'm really hoping you'll think about it. 